Hello everyone, I wanted to do a quick review of a UI automation library that I found on the web called FLA UI. Um, so this is a uh, UI automation library which has been written to uh, replace white uh, because white as you know is very old, uh, teststack.white and um, you know some parts of it aren't supported anymore uh, with WPF and so on and so forth. Um, and we needed a um, automation library to do some simple smoke testing in the SciChart example suite. We did have a look at some of the commercial offerings out there but they're just too expensive for what we needed which is a small uh, lightweight library for testing and uh, coded UI has been made obsolete by Microsoft so that turned us to the web and that's how I found this one. So this is now used in the SciChart.wpf examples, which is a example suite for SciChart, a high performance and real time uh, WPF chart component. If you go onto our uh, GitHub page here and under the branch SciChart v6 release uh, examples, uh, there's now a new folder called examples.demo.smoketests and this has got in here our automation testing. So I've recently cloned this repository and built it and Basically, what we do in here is we've got a number of images that we include uh, in the repository and we've included these as embedded resources. So each one here is an embedded resource. And this is a screenshot of expected uh, how an example should look. So it's a, it's a chart example, obviously. And, um, you know, we've taken a screenshot of this and we've stored it as an embedded resource. Now, in our library here, what we actually have is we've got a test called smoke test example walkthrough using breadcrumb. And uh, what this does is it starts our application and it passes in a command line argument called quick start, which basically um, uh, it, it takes out some animations and so on and so forth. So that it starts up very, very quickly. Um, and then it does some clicking on elements. So this uh, this is FLA UI code, find descendant, and you pass in the uh, automation IDs. And we've wrapped it in this little method called wait for element, which uses the FLA UI uh, retry uh, function. Uh, and then it fails if the element doesn't appear between a, within a timeout. So that's quite useful in sort of waiting for an element to be ready. Um, and you can grab elements and then convert them to things like buttons and click on them and so on and so forth. So each one of these smoke tests, in fact, uh, this is a setup fixture. So this starts the application once um, and um, then every single test, what it does is we've got a number of test cases here where we pass in the uh, category and the group of chart and the, the, the example name that we want to click and uh, finally a resource we want to compare against. And then every, uh, every one of these examples, what we do is uh, basically we click on a breadcrumb home uh, and um, then we get the example navigation view and we click on the category list boxes, the groups list boxes and so on and so forth. We do some selecting to select the example and at this point we've got the example. Now what we do is we take a capture. So this is using FLA UI uh, capture of the example view and convert it to a writable bitmap. And the next step is we load our resource and we compare the bitmaps. So in the base class, there is a helpful helper class, or helper method here, that compares two bitmaps uh, with an error percentage, so an allowable error percent. And we found sort of 0 0.2, 0 0.5 to be a good error percentage. Um, and what we do is we assert the size, uh, the width and height of the images. Um, and we convert them both to byte arrays and we exert the length. Uh, and then uh, we basically look at RGBA and we find a Euclidean distance uh, between the RGBA uh, of uh, the two images. And then we calculate our average and maximum error. And if the average error is greater than a threshold, so typically 0 0.2 or 0.5%, uh, then we say these images are not the same. Now we print out as well to the console, um, you know, these values. So what the resource name was, what the average error was, the allowable percent and the max error. And we just assert true or false. Now what's useful here is that we also save the diff images in the case where there's an assertion that goes wrong. So say the, the images are not the same. We save these diff images and um, we have got a path that we're saving our images to and we save expected versus actual. Uh, and we save a diff as well. So if the test fails, then it will output a diff 
image. This is very useful to debug why it failed. So maybe there's a there's a real error, or maybe there's a you know just a small incidental error, and you maybe need to raise the tolerance slightly on uh, on the comparison. So going back to our smoke tests, if we run these, in fact, what I'll do first of all is run the application. So here we go. We're starting the SciChart demo application. Um, what the uh, automation test does is it grabs the example wrap panel, that's this area here, and it clicks on this band series chart. And the way that we've actually found out what these are is we've got this uh, application called FLA um, UI Inspect, uh, which is published with the uh, FLA UI library, and you select this mode, Hover. Uh, and now I have to press control over, over an element that I want to basically inspect and it'll tell me what the automation ID is for that element. So hopefully if I do this right, there we go. You can see um, that we've got uh, the home view, then we've got the everything view, the examples wrap panel, and then this example called band series chart. So we're grabbing that panel and we're clicking on the band series chart and in we go. And this sort of tips view pops up, this help tips. And we grab this one, the tips view got it button. So this one has its own automation ID. So we click here as well. So by the time the setup fixture is done, the application is in this state. And then with each application, what we do is we, we grab an element called breadcrumb home, which is here. And then the example navigation view, uh, which is this area. And we get these three list boxes and we select the desired category and group and example name. So that's sort of akin to programmatically clicking, say this, this, and this. And the last thing we do is we wait until the example nav view close. So we've, we've got a little extension method in the, sorry, a method in the base class, which just says, wait until an element is off screen. And uh, that's really useful to make sure that the uh, the navigation panel, which has got some animation here. It's got to go away, basically. Um, finally, we get our examples frame and we, we take a screenshot of it. So let's run these smoke tests and see them in action. So they're all hooked into uh, ReSharper. We're using NUnit. And any minute now, we will start the application. And it's programmatically clicking. You can see that it's going through every application here. It's relatively quick, it takes about one second per application. Uh, sorry, per example. And each time that it's going through, it's taking a screenshot of the inner chart area and it's comparing it versus the expected using a tolerance of half a percent. And there you go. Once it's finished, all of these um, these examples have completed. You see some of them have got zero error. Some of them have got a very, very small error. There's a small incidental change. If this number is high and it's gone red, what it will do is will output to the console here where the diff images are saved. Um, we're going to be expanding this uh, framework. This is simply smoke tests. It's not designed to be exhaustive testing of the app, but you know we have about 150 examples in our example suite and uh, testing them with all the combinations becomes very exhausting. So we're hoping that this is going to save us a lot of time and uh, help the quality. And also, we really like the uh, FLA UI um, uh, basically automation library. So we're really pleased with it. We wanted to feedback and say that it's a great piece of work and uh, hopefully help some, uh, some of our users and customers uh, know, know about this as well. All right, cheers, thanks.